How many parts do you think are inside this iPhone? This beautifully designed product requires 1,500 different components to make it work. But that's not the most interesting fact about it. It's this. Even though the iPhone is one of the most iconic American products in history, more than half of its components are sourced and manufactured out of Taiwan and China. That includes core processors, 5G modems, and camera lenses. The interdependencies among the United States, Taiwan, and China are becoming more and more complex. So what would be the impact on Apple if China decided to invade Taiwan? Well, let's get into it. Be clear, sir. U.S. forces would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. Yes. A war here in Taiwan would have catastrophic economic consequences for the whole world. Taiwan manufactures 92% of those. None are manufactured in, in the U.S. What happened in China? You, you know, I've seen that in the press. Hello everyone, my name is Antonio, I'm a finance manager at Google, and in this channel we talk about the latest trends in business and technology. If you're interested in that, click on subscribe. Let's go back in time to get some context. All the way to 1945. China and Taiwan have been in a complicated and tense situation since the end of World War II. When Japan lost the war, China took over the island. But in a short period of time, civil war erupted between the communists under Mao and the nationalists under Chiang Kai-shek. The communists won and took over Beijing. What was left of the nationalists went to Taiwan and established a government that would go on for decades. The People's Republic of China claims that Taiwan is a province that needs to be annexed. Xi Jinping says Taiwan must be and will be reunited with China. You could say the whole purpose of his regime is what he calls the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. Because of this, there's a chance that China might utilize military force to annex Taiwan to mainland China. In which case, Taiwan could only do so much given the fact that China dwarfs Taiwan when it comes to military resources and defense spending. But why does that matter, especially to Apple, if Chinese government annexes Taiwan? Why is Taiwan so important? Well, Taiwan is a critical piece of the supply chain for the technology industry. Not just for Apple, but for Google, Meta, Amazon, and many, many more. A lot of the electronic devices that you use on a daily basis are powered by technology that is manufactured in Taiwan. From cars to medical equipment, all of these goods contain a semiconductor of some sort. Taiwan dominates the computer chip industry so much that one single company, TSMC or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, claims more than 50% of the world's market. This means that if China were to use military force or blockade on Taiwan, the disruption in the production of computer chips could cost trillions of dollars in revenue to customers of Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturers. And the trickle-down effects in the economy would likely be catastrophic. Shortages, inflation, stock drops, and one of the most most affected companies would be Apple. Imagine for a second that a big chunk of the orders on the new iPhone 15s and MacBook Pros with M3 chips can't be fulfilled. Yes, the famous M3s that Apple just announced last week are being produced by TSMC. That would create a massive customer experience problem for Apple, which would result in reputational damage beyond repair and an unavoidable stock dip. Some hedge fund managers are even going as far as saying that the stock would be cut in half. And at its current valuation, Apple would lose over a trillion dollars in market capitalization. But what are tech companies doing about it? Apple, with its massive influence, would not let that happen. As you know, tech companies have massive influence in geopolitics. If you want to know more about how this works, take a look at this video up top. Apple has been lobbying TSMC to move production out of Taiwan, and they succeeded. TSMC has been working on opening up a plant in Phoenix, Arizona in 2024. This reflects the urgency that Tim Cook has on reducing the dependencies the company has on Taiwan's manufacturing footprint. As many of you know, we work with TSMC to manufacture the chips that help power our products all over the world. And we look forward to expanding this work in the years to come as TSMC forms new and deeper roots in America. Thanks to the hard work of so many people, these chips can be proudly stamped made in America. To put it in perspective, as of the latest supplier report, Apple has more than 70 suppliers in Taiwan working on its products and 270 suppliers in China. One thing I'm sure it's keeping Tim Cook awake at night is how to ship production capabilities outside of Asia. And this way of thinking was exacerbated by Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan in 2022. A lot of customers of Taiwanese suppliers were asking them to move production outside of Taiwan in case war would happen at some point. However, it is easier said than done. Most of the supply chains are in Taiwan and China, and therefore pulling this off would take decades. But what else? Another important consideration is the fact that if China were to take over Taiwan, a lot of the contracts under these Taiwanese companies are of military nature. 
This type of company is known as a foundry, and it's a vast industry, almost 100 billion in 2021. And just think of NVIDIA making the semiconductors that will be used for AI technology, that will be used in military and public sector applications. If the Chinese government were to take over that, that would represent a massive risk for US companies and the US government. Just think about the new Apple Vision Pro. It's perfect for military contracts. They could use this technology just like Microsoft intends to, to train soldiers in virtual simulations where they need to rescue people or improve stealth tactics. As you can see, there's a lot of skin in the game for Apple. Taiwan and its companies are a key component of the supply chain of the company, or in other words, their stock. Therefore, Apple will do everything necessary to make sure that it's not disrupted, whether that means lobbying the US government to protect American interests via protecting Taiwan with military support or helping them with investments to move out production to other countries. Right now, the situation is very tense, but let's see how it unfolds. If you like that video, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.